Welcome back, guys. That's quite the view, isn't it? Love that view down the valley. Just awesome. Loads of bridges, loads of toddles. Exactly what we like. All right. Um, okay, what are we going to do in this episode? Well, like, tons of stuff, frankly. First of all, I'm going to turn off, like, a whole bunch of icons. Let's turn all that. In fact, let's turn everything off except the town names. While I talk to you. Okay, um, between the last episode and this episode, uh, I've been optimizing the ships. And I've actually sold a bunch of ships. So that all the ships literally sail straight into the ports, straight out. There's no stopping. It's kind of like absolute maximum capacity without any stopping and i've checked the lines thoroughly because we had a bit of glut we had a glut of ships down here so i've actually um, sold a bunch of ships if we go to the line manager you can see i've sold like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ships all together uh one from the b1 line and um i think like five five or six yeah five or six from the from the b line a couple from the a line something like that Anyway, so um, the ship... Now, why have I been playing around with the ships? Because we are in 1897, and I was looking at the, um, the list on the, on the website of uh, when the new vehicle's coming out. And the, uh, the, the next ship upgrade, which is the Vandal, the Vandal oil tanker, comes out in, 80, uh, in 1900. So, like, only like two and a half years. So, I wanted to get that done so that we were ready to upgrade to the Vandals. Okay. Uh, a very quick word on growth because people won't shut up about it in the comments. Uh, let's have a look at Biggles Wade. Okay, so you can see, like, over the last, like, 40 years, we've had very, very, very small growth. Now that we've hooked it up to the, to the passenger lines, connecting it to four, well, to three other towns, suddenly, boom, right? That's all I'm going to say about growth. Please shut up about it in the comments. Thank you. Right, moving on. Uh, what else? Okay, so now we need to just start looking at doing a bit of um, bit of optimization uh, to get ready because when we put the vandals in, the capacity of the vandals is 150 or, um, oil or fuel. These only carry 60, so we're all we're going to almost triple our capacity on the ship lines, right? Now that means that to keep the the profits up, we need to triple uh, our demand. So yeah, we've got some work to do. Uh, let me get the let me get the industries up. Let's pop that down there. There we go. Right, mission control up and running. Line that up. <laughs> I'll see OCD's kicking in. Right, um, right. The passenger. Let's do the passenger trains first. I, I've left the um, the passengers up so that you can see. And if we look at the line, we are running at capacity. Now I should actually put a, put a name on this, shouldn't I? I really should. This is going to be TP train passenger. Um, this is going to be, we'll call it um, Eastbourne uh, Aspatria. There we go. And if we take a look at Eastbourne Aspatria, well, let's sort of, well, you know what, let's sort it. So, uh, yeah, our fuel line's making loads, Eastbourne's making loads, Biggles Wade, yeah, loads, loads of stuff making loads. Uh, Eastbourne Aspatria is maxed out, right? So we need some more, uh, we need some more. We, we need more passenger cars, and we need, I think, a couple more trains. Because if we look at the um, look at the frequency, the frequency, we're at about four minutes, I think. Where was it? Yeah, we're about four minutes. I want to bring that down a little bit. So, uh, what are we going to do as far as these trains are concerned? Where's the blooming train station? I should really put the uh, train station icon on. There we go. You know, I'll put the bus stop icon on as well. So... Um, we've currently got one, two, three. We've got six vehicles, and they're only running two carriages. So I think we want to replace these with a PLM. With I think we'll go up to four carriages. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four carriages. I think. So replace those now. Boom. That's four and a half million. Thanks very much. Okay, and then I'm going to put a couple of extra trains on. So by train. PLM with one, two, three, four. Set that on. Where are we? Aspatria line. I do like the word Aspatria. <laughs> it's kind of cool, isn't it? Chudley and Aspatria. Got great names. Uh, and then here, where's the depot in it? Here it is, over here. So we want to buy PLM again. Four carriages again. One, two, three, four. 
and set you on the S battery align. Boom. Okay, that's that. Right, now let's go and have a look at this. So, the Honkabriff oil terminal, nothing we can do about that until we get the vandals. That that kind of, that is what it is. Um, the same with the the B refinery, it is what it is, but that's fine actually. We've got nice, nice lot of fuel waiting, but it's not like way too high, so that's perfect. Um, the B freight station, now at Tavistock we've got 100, and, almost 190 fuel waiting. So I think we need another train on the Tavistock line, don't you? Well, let's actually, like, what have we got on the Tavistock line at the moment? That's a good, good point. We've got two trains, PLMs running eight cars, and it looks like we're not shifting the stuff. So I guess we'll put one more train on. So by trains, we'll go for a PLM with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars. Stick that on, what we need, Tavistock. Stick that on the Tavistock line, boom, cool. Uh, next, 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 next. So that's, that was the Tavistock. Um, Ashton, Ashton's got a lot. Let's have a look. Got 172 fuel waiting on the Ashby line. Ooh, okay, well, let's have a look at the Ashby line. Uh, we've got two vehicles. We're running the old vehicles. So I reckon maybe we just bump those up to PLMs with eight cars a piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That increases our capacity by like, by like a third. Uh, and we're going faster, so it's more than a third. So, yeah, it's quite a big increase. Uh, replace now. There's another four million. <laughs> God, yes, please. Do that. Right, so that's fine. Uh, what's next? The Honkabriff A refinery, that's fine. Uh, Wellington Freight Station. Uh, I think we look fine there. I don't think we've got any issues there. And everything else is looking pretty good. Alrighty, cool. So, what do I want to do next? Well, I, I, I want to get things cranked up. Now, I'm going to use a cheap trick. Um, because I want, to get, I want to get all of our towns growing. But, I don't want to be spending like 50 million again on another passenger line. Because um, I'm going to need, like to upgrade all of my ships to Vandals, is going to cost a freaking fortune. Uh, I was guesstimating it, and I think it's going to be something around 50 million to upgrade all of these to Vandals. I, I mean, it's like somewhere between, it may be a bit more than that, actually, but it's going to be somewhere between like 30 and 70 million. Like, it's, it's somewhere in that ballpark. So I'm going to use a cheap trick, which some of you will hate. Some of you will go, oh, that's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do, right, we've got a bus stop here. We've got a bus stop there. We've got a bus stop there. Right. I'm going to set up a line, and we're going to go from there to there to there. Right, now, we do actually need the line hooked up. That would be, like, kind of a good idea. So, you know what, let's just put, let's just put a little road, I don't know. Um, oh, I suppose I can just put a, let's do something a little bit more sensible than that. So let's put you right there. Oh, come on. Go straight. God damn it. That'll do. Boom. Right. We have a line. I am going to put one vehicle on that line. By road vehicle. Um, what's the best we've got? The land hour. Let's put one land hour on there. So buy a land hour. Put it on line one, and I'm actually going to call this CT cheap trick. Cheap trick one. There we go. Boom. That is going because those towns are now connected together by a passenger route, which has some form of transport on it. They'll grow just like just like these ones over here. So yeah, it's a um, yeah pretty cheap trick, but. It works. I'm like, what the hell? Uh, and it means that because I, I want to keep in this series, I, like, I don't want to get into fall into the trap that I fell into in the in the Boswash series, where I kind of got behind with my upgrades. I want to keep up with that. So, so that's why I'm doing this cheap, pathetic little 
trick. So let's just bang a stop in there. We'll bang a stop in in Bognor Regis. And probably, like, for a lot of people won't have heard of Bognor Regis. It's, um, it's a seaside town on the English coast. It's quite quite nice, actually. It doesn't sound nice, Bognor Regis, but it's actually quite a nice place. So let's see. Uh, did, did, uh, settle, and... Now, two people have pulled me up on my pronunciation. And I, I was only calling it, like, Maggle, because I was trying to do a joke about Harry Potter and Muggles, right? Um, but the funny thing is that the two people who pulled me up on the pr pronunciation have told me to pronounce it two different ways. And they both live right next to this town. Like, with it, like they both live within like five miles of, of, of this town. I was actually thinking of changing the name because now I have no idea how to pronounce it. Uh, and I was thinking like, what's the next stop up the line from barking? Um, so I was thinking of calling that like... Pfft. Looney Tunes or something. <laughs> right, uh, moving on. Okay, so I've done uh, I've done those four. So let's get those four linked together. So you and 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 you. Now, obviously, I should, well, I mean, I suppose I can put it back the other way. I didn't on the other line because I'm just. This is this is literally just a cheap trick, just to get growth going. Cheap trick too. Boom. Um, we want a vehicle on Cheap Trick 2, don't we? So that means we're going to have to have a depot. So let's put a depot in. Uh, flip you around and... Yeah. That'll do. Buy road vehicle, one land hour. Buy, stick you on Cheap Trick 2, boom. Cool. Okay, so that's that one done. Um, what else? Um, Tavistock and Barking. We do want to grow as well. Hey, you know what? I should have, I should have maybe not put Maggle on and had a three and a three. Yeah, that would have been better. All right, let's do that. So chip trick two. Let's take off um, New Street and one of the Richmond roads. So it's just those three that are linked, and then we'll link these three together. Yeah, that makes sense. So what do I want now? I want, um, I want another line. This is going to be chip trick three. Bosh. And hook up. Uh, here we go. I'm going to stop there. From there to yeah, that one and that one. Yeah, lines in. I suppose we could go back to King's Street. What the hell? Uh, have I got a? Uh, uh, yeah, I was going to say I must have a depot in here. Of course I must. Right. So yeah, get out of that. Buy a uh, Landauer. Buy set you on line chip trick three. Boom. Alrighty, so that's all of those growing. Uh, we've got West Ham and Tewkesbury as well. So let's have uh, Cheap Trick 4. Cheap Trick 4. Cheap Trick 4, boom. And we want to hook up. Let's start to... Pff, this one will do. Yes, we've got the line in. So all I need to do is put a vehicle on there. Buy ride vehicle. Uh, Landauer, buy... Set line, CT4, boom. That'll get them growing. Uh, we've also got Ashby and Ashton. Now, I could I could link them together with these two. Yeah, go on, what the hell. It really, really doesn't matter. So, what I, uh, this is cheap trick four, isn't it? So, it goes there, there. Let's add in... You can go, I don't know, somewhere in here. That'll do. And somewhere up here. Bosh. Now, that hasn't put in a line, so we're disconnected somewhere. We're disconnected down here. So, going to have to connect that. Do, 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 do. Let's go. Uh, now, can I, can I squeeze across here somewhere? I should probably try and put the connection in first. My, I, well, I suppose I could do a little bridge, couldn't I? Should have a little bridge? Let's have a little bridge. Yeah, there we go. Nice posh bridge. Do 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 do. Hook you up to. Oh, come, go go straight, damn it! Thank you. And then we'll hook, just hook this up, like round here and into there. Right, and that gives me my route. Cool, so that means those four will grow. And that, I think, 
is it. That's all the towns. Oh, Wellington. We haven't hooked Wellington up. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, pff, do I care? Do I care about Wellington? You know what? Pff, screw Wellington. <laughs> we'll do Wellington another time. I don't care. Uh, right. So that's it. That's all of those done. Uh, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, as well as growing those towns, I want to get like uh, a bit of a quick boost. So I thought that maybe we should put this line in up to Aspatria. Now, I have got a reason for doing this, which hopefully will become apparent later. And I've also got plans for linking up to, um, to Cheshunt and Bognor Regis on this line and linking up to, uh, uh, this is supposed to be pronounced, either Maggul or Margul. One of the two. If you take your pick. I, to be honest, I don't really care. So, um, yeah, I've extended this line up to uh, up to Margul and Settle, and extending this line up to Cheshunt and Bognor Regis. So, you know what? Um, I'm going to get on and do that. Alrighty. Well, I managed to get four lines in before I basically ran out of money. I, my, I do have another ten million, but I've got to put some trains on here. So, so um, I managed to get these four lines in. I didn't. <laughs> That like the, the first line I was going to do was the extension to Aspatria. That's going to have to wait. It cost a lot more than I thought. Uh, and I did all of that offline because, <laughs> frankly, I'm sick of the fucking bitching every time I build basically anything. So, uh, right. We've got this extension of the uh, Shepshed Peacehaven line going up to uh, Cheshire and into Bogner Regis, and the extension of the Barking Line through um, whatever this is called, and into Settle. The only thing I haven't done, that's a good point, <laughs> I've done all of that, and I've forgotten that I need to put the, um, oh, I've got to put all the truck stations in. Oh, man. All right, <laughs> let, me, let me put all the truck stations in. Alrighty, that's all the truck stations. I've also added the trucks on. So I've added a line. Let's see, where are we? Let's start with, uh, let's start with uh, Maggle or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, so down here, here's the, uh, here's the station. We've got the truck station there and we're delivering to the Manchester Road stop there. And I figured we could probably manage with, what did I say, three vehicles. Um, so we've got that one in. And then if we move down to Settle, Settle, we've got the truck station there. We've got all the industry here. We're only delivering to there. So it's not a, not a big deal. And we, we've got some... Oh, have we, oh, I thought we'd got some coverage from there. No. But um, but yeah, again, I, I think three vehicles do the job. And then if we go up to Bogner, same thing. We're pretty close to it. So again, three vehicles, that'll do. And then up in Cheshunt... The station is like right by this. I think we only miss like two buildings. So um, so I'm going to hang on. I'm going to hang on with that one because it kind of like if it expands out this way or this way or maybe both, then we'll have to we'll have to adjust. So that's that. So all we need to do to get these lines active is just put some trains on. So let's do that. So if we go down to um, Tavistock. So this is the um, the Tavistock to, uh, no, not to have to stop barking. We, this is the um, the barking to uh, to Maggle. I'm still going to call it Maggle. I don't give I don't give a monkeys. Uh, that's by PLM with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, what do we think? Do we go for eight? I think we probably go for eight. It's probably a little bit of overkill, but to be honest, we're making loads of cash, so like, who cares? So this is, this is uh, Maggle, isn't it? Yeah, so this is going on TF Maggle fuel. Boom. Right, that's that one done. And then we want to go down here to Maggle. Now, I've had to put the depot in, like, the other side of this bridge. Because that was the first place I could put it in. So, um, now this is going to settle, isn't it? So this is going to be on the settle fuel. So, PLM with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you go on to the settle fuel, Bosch. 
Then let's zip up to Peacehaven, <clears throat> where we've got the uh, the Cheshire line. <coughs> My throat's giving up. <clears throat> That's better. And we'll go for a PLM with, once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trucks. And that goes on to the Cheshunt line. Now, I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to add a second train onto that line because it's so freaking long. But on the basis of winning, I've got three and a half million left. Oh, and I borrowed the 10 million, by the way, um, while I was putting the trucks in. So, yeah, we're down to the last of our cash. So we want PLM with... Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My God, set you online. This is going to Bogner, isn't it? Yeah, Bogner fuel. Boom. It's in. It's done. Right, I think we can get rid of those. And I think we could probably turn that off now. And you know what? What the hell? Let's turn these off as well. I don't think we need those. And then I think we can crank things up. So... Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's crank it up to full. Let's get some stuff because we need some cash coming in. We really do. Now, it's going to take a little bit of time for um, for the fuel to feed through so that it actually gets to these. Oh, I tell you what I didn't do. Ah, man. I should have kept those lines open because what I didn't do was tell them to wait. Man, there's always something I forget, isn't there? Always something that I forget. Um, so where are I? I want the TFs. So I want... Settle, Bogner, Maggle, and... No, that's RF. Those are RFs, you idiot. Come man. Not the RFs, I want the TFs. So I want Cheshunt, Bogner, Maggle, and Settle. There we go. Cool. So, uh, what do I want? I want to tell them, uh, wait for a full load. Wait for a full load. Wait for a full load at Peacehaven. Wait for a full load at Maggle. And we want to change these to wait 10 minutes. Um, the, you know, Cheshire, I'm going to just... Pff, eh, nah, I'm going to keep it at 10. Like, what the hell? Just keep all the same. Why change it? If it's working, why change it? But it ain't broke. Don't fix it. Right, so that's all of those done. Right, now we can... Now, now you know what? I'm going to I'm going to turn you around. Flip. Go back to, go back to Peacehaven and wait for some fuel. <clears throat> There's no way that fuel's going to get there inside 10 minutes, though. <laughs> to be fair. Uh, did you? Yeah, you sneaked off as well. Let's turn you around. Go back and wait. At least save me a bit of money while you're waiting. And then up at... Um, Maggle, did you? Yeah, you... Oh, no, you've only, you're have only only just arriving. So, you, yeah, caught you. And where's the... Where's the one over here? You'll have sneaked out. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, perfect. We caught that one. Alrighty. Oh, now, hang on a second. What's going on? What's going on with you? You haven't got any fuel, so how the hell did you manage to get out of that station? So let's turn you around. Flip you around. No, what? No path? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Oh, man. Oh, no, it... Somehow, it has found a path. By flipping itself around. Okay, fine. Um, did I break any of the others? <laughs> so that was the Bogner one. Let's have a look. You, yeah, you'll find you're waiting. You, you find you're waiting. And you, you find you're waiting. Good. All right. Yeah, that one will. It's not a long run, fortunately, to, to Bogner. It's the I think it's the shortest run of all of them. Uh, how are we doing over here? Well, we're already up to four million, so that's kind of good. The money's flowing in. All of our ships should be running like really smoothly in and out of the docks, just going sailing straight in with no waiting. Everything's fine at that end. Yeah, everything's fine at this end. Let's go and check over here. Yep, everything's flowing straight in and out. No waiting. What about over at this end? I think we've still got... Is that the... Is that, you going to the... Yeah, yours heading to the depot to be sold. So, yeah, everything's running smoothly in and out of there. Alrighty. Everything seems to be going quite nice. 
Uh, Ashton Frey is down to 140. That was up at like 190, wasn't it? Need to make sure that that keeps going down. Sweet. Uh, we can get rid of those puppies now. Don't need those. Right, let's have a, let's have a little look. How's things doing, profits-wise? Oh, we've just got the Klondike. Now, that's kind of good news. Because um, we're going to start moving on to other products soon. That is the upgraded version of the the like the the container ship so it carries basically everything other than liquids and that's but that's only got a capacity of a hundred so the i don't know what the old one was called what was the old one called let's go let's go over to a, to a shipyard and have a look the old one was the oh the riggy so yeah so it upgrades the the, the riggy or the riggy from uh, from fifth, uh, not now, not the riggy, uh, the Frontenac. No, not the passenger as well. The Wilhelm, yeah, the Wilhelm. It upgrades the Wilhelm from 50 capacity to 100 capacity. But the tankers, the Zoroaster is 60, and the next one, which is the Vandal, which we should get in a year and a half, is 150. So, yeah. That's why oil's kind of the best one to do first. Everything seems to be set, set up for for doing oil. Uh, we don't need that open. We don't need that open. I'm making five mil on the, um, the oil and fuel B. Um, but we need some of these lines to feed through because, look, it's costing us money. But look, we're already up to 14 mil. Pause. Uh, I could pay off my loan. Let's pay off my loan. Um, let's not pause it. Uh, repay. Let's get all of that repaid. Bosh. Uh, should we see how our passengers are doing? Because we put those nice new longer trains on. Oh, there's one. Is that one of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is one of them. Where are you? There he is. Train 30. And he immediately disappears into a tunnel. Not to be seen for a very long time. Until he gets up to the valley. Should we go have a ride in the valley? Let's go have a ride in the valley. I, you know, I suppose... Well, you know what? We'll have a ride on these trains, kind of like when they're actually running, because they're not—they're not, <laughs> not going to be running at the moment. That one's—that one's not a bad journey up there. Oh, there's a train running up there. Oh, that's the barking train. Um, this one, this one's kind of okay. Got a nice little, nice little tunnel running through here. This one, this one's got this nice bend with the bridge. And then it goes down into this valley, which I've got to say, this is. Really nice down here. And then... We're on to Bognor Regis. The Bognor Regis one, it's kind of pretty flat and boring, to be honest. <laughs> should, we have a, should we have a ride on the flat, boring one? Let's move that over there. Let's close that down. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of... This, this valley floor is very flat. And yeah, kind of boring, to be honest. And in we go. Look at the production figures. My lord. Things are going pretty well. Uncle Brief A, almost a thousand. Wow. So this will get back into there and wait for another 10 minutes. Excellent. Right, let's go now. Is this is the Peace Haven train running? Yeah, that's it. Are you waiting in the station? Oh, he's just getting back into the station. So he's just done a run. Which, of course, is costing us like a lot of money at the moment until we start getting some fuel onto these trains. So, hopefully, we start getting some fuel arriving soon. But look at this. We're already up to 13 million again. Well, we're making 12 million a year. Which is pretty sweet. So I spent 11 million, 24 million on new vehicles. Ouch! So that's 35 million. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, we need the money to flood in pretty darn quickly. What are you bringing? Are you bringing a nice big load of fuel up? Th only 30. I, we, I need to upgrade some of these. Um, let's see. Uh, you, whoops, let's open it. Oh, you're over there. Um, yeah, you're fine. 
there's nothing more we can do till we get the vandals. Uh, the B refinery. That's fine. Uh, Ashton Freight. Yeah, the Ashby's still coming down. It won't well, remember it was up, up at 190. So that's still coming down bit by bit. So that's good. Uh, let's see, that was Ashton. Wellington. Yeah, we've got 82 waiting for the Biggles Wade, but that's not much more than a train load these days. Um, and everything else is kind of cool. Passenger-wise... Well, we're nice and full. That's the main thing. What are we making on the... Uh, Okay, we're making almost 2 million. We're not quite full. We're almost full. So that's pretty much perfect. I'm expecting that will make a little bit more than that. Time to stop fuel. Everything's good. Everything's good. Everything's good. I'd love to see some of these new ones. Getting some, getting some cash. Right, we've got 22 million. Oh, here we go. We're up to November... At the, uh, at the end of this year, we get the new Vandals. So I think that's probably a good place to leave it. Peace out. <laughs>